Social Security Administration. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I received the call. I just, I just came home um, uh, sometime today, earlier today. Uh, there's an issue with the Social Security. Now, I received a letter yesterday from Social Security uh, deducting, I think it was 150 some bucks from my uh, Social uh, Security for yes. medical. Is that what this is about? Yes, you have reached the Department of Social Security Administration, so in order to go ahead and give you the further information, can I have your first name and last name? Yes, first name is Rog Roger. It's, uh, it's not Roger, it's Roger, R-O-J-E-R. -E and your last name? Uh, Dodger, D-O-D-G-E-R. All right. And can I have your last four of your Social Security number? Uh, yes, it's uh, 1489. All right. And can I have your current zip code? Uh, yes, it's 21520. All right, so stay on the line for a moment. Let me go ahead and pull up your file and confirm the birth certificate, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yes, hello, are you there, sir? Uh, yes, I'm here, yeah. All right, so this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement against your name and your social security uh, number. Oh, wait a minute. legal enforcement? Yes. Whoa, whoa, so whoa wait, this, wait a minute. What, wait a minute. In order uh, 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 okay, this is a bit of a shocker here. I, I, I thought it was something totally different, and you're telling me something in law enforcement. Go ahead, I'm sorry. And this call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement against your name and your social security number. Why? So regarding this, Why? we have called in order to suspend your social on immediate wait, basis. Wait a minute. Well, suspend my social security? I, I'm retired. That's, that's what I rely upon. What's this all, what's this all about? This is. Are this. you not going to listen to me? Well, you're, you're, call, you're telling me you're going to spend my social security and... Uh, I, I called, I, I think it had, I thought it was had something to do with the letter I got yesterday, but you're telling me something different. This is serious. So are you not going to listen to me? Okay, I, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just a little upset right now. So we have called in order to suspend your social on immediate basis because... Your social has been found suspicious for committing some fraud activities in the state of Texas. So, are you aware about the situation, sir? N no, this is this is what you're telling me is is totally uh, new to me. I've never heard of this before. I had no idea what's going on. All right, so get a pen and a piece of paper so that I can provide you some primary information which you can write it down. Okay, uh, hang on one second here. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Yes. First of all, write it down your case ID number. Starting letter as an apple. Okay, hang on just a second. I have tremors, so I, I have to write slow. Apple. 65387, C like a Charlie, and letter P like a Peter. 65. 65387. 8. Hang on a minute. i got to go real slow because my hand shakes. Okay. A-65387. Uh, a, uh, a yes. And letter C like a Charlie. Yeah. C like a Peter. Okay. P. And write it down. My name Mark Taylor. My first name is Mark and my last name is okay. Taylor. Okay. Hang on just a second. Like I said, I have to go slow because I have tremors. That's Taylor. Okay. Okay. I got it. With the page ID number SSM5241. SSN. SSN? SSM5241. 5241. Hang on one second. 241. Yes. Okay, I got it. So let me go ahead and explain you the situation about this case. Okay. But before that, I want to inform you that the line on which we are talking right now is totally recorded by Social Security Administration. 
and law enforcement agency for quality and control purpose. So you have to be very honest whatever you commit, all right? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the investigation started under your name and your social security number when we recover an impounded car in the south border of Texas. They make and made model of that car was Toyota Corolla 2009 with the VIN number Texas 270398. This car was idle on street and when the local authorities have reported about this car, they found some blood and drug residue inside the car. So which made them totally enthralling? Hence, and after trawling. investigation, and tr- they that found that... Entra- tra- enthralling. What, what is that? Excuse me? You said something about enthralling. What is that? What's that mean? Yes, the name of the car was Toyota Corolla yeah. 2009 with the VIN number Texas 270398. 2009? That's what, a 10, 11-year-old car? Who rents a 10, 11-year-old car? So this car was idle oh, no, on the street, that's, 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 that's and when the local that. authorities have reported about this car, they found some blood and drug residue inside the car. So which made them totally enthralling? Hence, after investigation, now that's what I, that you said enthralling. What, what, what is that? What is that enthralling? What is that enthralling? What is that enthralling? You said. What's that mean? Excuse me. Enthralling. You said enthralling. What does that mean? It's enthralling. Yeah, what does that mean? I, I've never heard that word before, enthralling. Thank you. You better get arrested. Stay wherever you are and ready to get arrested, all right? Well, I just asked you, I just, listen, I just asked sense, you a right? question. What was so enthralling? Stay wherever you are and ready to get arrested. I just Thank asked you, you what enthralling, because I've never heard that. You said enthralling. I'm just asking you. Go ahead. I'll hear you out. Yes, you better get arrested, sir. Stay wherever you are and ready to get arrested. Oh, why, what do you, wait a minute, why am I being arrested for? That's what I don't understand. And once you got arrested, it will kind of make you sense, all right? Well, I don't understand what, what's going on here, though. So as I told you, once you got arrested, it will kind of make you sense, all okay, right? Okay, I, I understand that. You said that. I, I, I caught that. I, I got that. But, but, but... So hang up the call and ready to get arrested. What are you waiting for? Well, I don't want to get arrested. That, that, that's why do you keep saying hang up the call and get arrested? I just ask you a simple question. What was enthralling? I, I don't know what that means. And then you go off the deep end about ha- uh, telling me to hang up and get arrested. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you the citizen of the United States? Uh, yes, I am. Are you sure? I'm positive. I was born and raised here. My ancestors have been here for uh, since the 1600s from England. I'm from. Uh, Thank you. See you directly in the courthouse. Uh, what are you talking about? I'm from Maryland, Accident, Maryland. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but uh, uh, what are you talking about? So hang up the call and get arrested, sir. Well, I don't want to hang up the call and get arrested. You you go ahead. Uh, uh, let me. I'll hear you out. Excuse me. No, you go ahead. I'll hear you out. I won't interrupt you. What do you say? I say, go ahead, and I'll hear you out. Whatever you were telling me, uh, I will not interrupt you. So, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Uh, last summer, I went down there, uh, visited an old army buddy of mine. I, uh, I visited the Alamo, the Grand Canyon, and, and uh, Yellowstone Park. But, yeah, I was there last summer for uh, about a week. So, have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in the past? Uh, no, I have not. <laughs> All right. So, right now, your name and your social has been listed in a criminal list. 
Can you hear me? Yeah, I, I hear you, yeah. When we investigate about this car, we found under your name and your social security number. So right now, your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas with two criminal charges pressed against your name, which is drug trafficking and money laundering. That's ridiculous. I've never so done as that. So we are having a short time, and what you have done was totally against the law of U.S. Treasury. I didn't do anything against the law. We have to sign this warrant against your name, and we have to suspend your social security number right now. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. So have you ever lost your wallet or any personal information in the past? Not that I know of. No, I've never have. Uh -uh. All right. So you say that you are not involved in this case, right? Yeah, no, definitely not. No, I have nothing to do with it. All right. So if you say that you are not involved in this case, it might be the medal of identity thief. Yeah, well, it has And to right be. now, we are not sure that your involvement in this case. So at this very point of time, we need your cooperation. If you cooperate with the Social Security Administration, we will go ahead and find a person who misses your information, all right? Well, okay, you said you're not sure I'm involved and, and you want to find a person who uh, has done this, but you're telling me that I am uh, guilty of what's going on. I don't understand. Excuse me? You're, you're telling me that that you want to find a person that is involved are you saying that I am not guilty or of this or what? So you say that you are not involved in this case, no, right? No, no, uh -uh, definitely not. So that is the reason we need your cooperation. If you cooperate with the Social Security Administration, we will go ahead and find a person who misses your information, all right? Okay, well, yeah, because definitely not me. So what is your intention? Are you willing to cooperate with the Social Security Administration? Or you want us to suspend your social and get arrested? What well, is your intention? Uh, no, I don't want to get arrested. What, what do I have to do? So are you willing to cooperate with the Social Security Administration? Yes, I told you I was. Get yeah, arrested? Yes, I told you I was, yes. All right. So that is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any kind of legal consequences. So in that case, we have to suspend your social right away from your name and we have to issue a new social for you. All right? That's going to cause a lot so of problems. So that we can get the suspect as well as... I'm sorry? Uh, I, you know, I, 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 get my, I, I uh, live off my social security. I'm retired. That's going to cause some problems. I... I w w probably won't be able to get my Social Security. We will go ahead and suspend your Social right away from your name and we have to issue a new Social for you. So that we can catch the suspect as well as you can save yourself from this kind of fraud activities, alright? Now you say it's uh, catching the suspect. So you think somebody else is involved in this and not me? Thank you. You better get arrested. What are you, I'm, I'm asking a question. I want to call back. Social Security Administration, how may I help you? Uh, yes, I was just talking to uh, uh, Mark Tyler. And Tyler? Yes, I was just asking him some questions, and I don't know why he got so upset, and he hung up on me. I was just trying to find out, get some information. And I don't know, maybe he had a bad day today, but... He hung up on me. All I did was start asking him some questions. Uh, Mark said something about uh, my getting arrested. Now, I don't want to get arrested, so that's why I'm calling back. And I don't know why he hung up on me. All I did was ask questions, and I don't know. He copped an attitude and hung up on me. Why, I don't know. What kind of question do you ask? Uh... Well, from what I understand is, I, I uh, something to do with my social security, a car, abandoned car in Texas, uh, 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 and he mentioned about helping catch the culprit. In other words, if somebody else is involved, but I want to just know why, if he thought that somebody else is involved and I was not guilty, but according to him, I'm guilty, so 
It's very confusing. That's why I was just asking questions. Okay. Is it all? Hello? Uh. Anybody there can help me? Yes. Just stay on the line, okay? Okay, thank you. Well, the scammer hung up on me. I think maybe I overdid it with the uh, questions. They do not that like for you to ask them the questions. It throws them off script. Uh, and I sent this one over the edge now, especially what I was asking with the definition of intrawling. Uh, he never did give me the definition. He said he went off a deep end. Uh, maybe on the next one I'll get the definition of intrawling. So I'll see you on the next one.